Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, uh, welcome to Redesign 16. So this is where I post about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle every single week. Before we get started on this really pretty purple sheer uh, eyeshadow shadow sense look, please like this video and please hit the subscribe button. So let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, so I wanted to hop on really quick. I have my base face done and I wanted to do a uh, eyeshadow like using Shadow Sense. If you don't know what Shadow Sense is, Shadow Sense is a cream base that turns to powder after 60 to 90 seconds. You have 60 to 90 seconds to apply it before it sets into place. Once it's dry, it's smudge proof, crease proof, waterproof, anti-aging has skincare in it it's layable buildable and so much more you can use it for your brows you can use it for your concealer and your uh base and i already did that so i love the color purple and so i'm going to be using purple shadow scents it's long lasting doesn't budge nothing doesn't come off till you take it off so i'm going to be using a few purple colors that you can use and also it's kind of gonna be sheer i know that i've been doing a lot of eyeshadow looks but one of my favorite things about synergy's makeup is the um shadow sense because comes in this tube it's $22 which seems like a lot but it's not because um if you're not using sandstone pearl without the shimmer or candlelight every single day it's going to last you around eight months now I found one today because I'm doing like mass organization cleaning and so I thought well, I need to hop on so that you guys know I'm here and um, and do a video. So I have been learning so much stuff that like I just need to sit down and write down each thing and prioritize how I'm going to make it in a video. Um, because I've been learning so much stuff about synergens makeup and how techniques and and I want to bring all that stuff for you so don't worry that new stuff is coming it's just taking me a while so also I will have a link down below so that you can shop this uh, shadow sense eyeshadow look sorry i'm looking at the camera um anytime you want as long as it's still available so i'll put a link down below and for the month of january it is free to sign up so if you add all the shadow senses in your cart um today and when you go to check out right before you go to check out you want to click on preferred customer that will get you 10 percent off all your purchases all year round including if synergens is having a sale and you get things first come first serve in your email um if you spend a hundred dollars you get free shipping and free samples um if you spend 150 uh you get free samples uh your stuff that you bought and you get a free gift and that actually helps me out during the month or during the year when you purchase a hundred dollars helps me stay intact with getting new products to bring to you stuff that if I run out, I can get, and it just helps me out quite a bit. So, also, sidetracked, 
Um, back to the shadow stands. So candlelight is going to be your base. You always want to start with a base. And I'm going to do a video on if you're new to shadow scents, so that's coming up too. So, um, if you're using candlelight as your base and concealer, it's going to last you around for like six months. So it's not gonna last you as long, but it might, because a little bit goes a long ways and it's long lasting. So if you're not using an everyday color, it's probably going to last you eight months. They're supposed to last you eight months, so it should last you eight months. But I found one today that I have still from like three, four years ago. I'm still using it. So imagine that. They last a long time. And if you are dry to the bone, this one isn't. But if you are dry to the bone, there's a little stopper you take out with tweezers and you pull that out and you get 20 more percent of product. So amazing. So a while back, I did a video on just a one and done with this shadow sense. And I got like over 700 views on it. I was shocked, I was amazed, blown away. But this is Stone Shimmer, which I'm gonna put on next even though you have 60 to 90 days, um, 60 to 90 days, 60 to 90 seconds to apply, I wait to go in and start up, like applying it or using a brush. So I'm going to use this all over my lid. And it's kind of like a grayish purple with shimmer. It's very pretty. And one of the reasons why I get so passionate and I choose Cinegens is because it's long lasting makeup. It has skincare in it. It's very, good for your skin. It's vegan and cruelty free. It's not tested on any animals, doesn't have any animal products in it. And like it's lead free, wax free, like it is amazing. So now I'm going to take a more flatter brush and just kinda start patting it in. And it may look bright in the tube and you're probably thinking, well, that lady is crazy. Why is she wearing that? And it, when you apply it, it's going to possibly look lighter. So it is looking lighter and the one thing I love about this is that it has a shimmer to it. So you can even make this a smoky eye. And once you pat it out, if you don't think that you have enough, you can go back in and apply it. Apply more. And it's going to show up a little bit darker. So I feel like I have not done a video in a long time. You guys probably don't know that, but we've had some wacky weather and it has snowed and now we're on a flood watch again because it's like went from like 30 to like 60 degree weather it is crazy now where i live i live away from the flood watch but i know other people who live in that area 
So, and I don't know if you remember, back in November, there was a huge flood. I was not affected, but I knew a lot of people that were affected. So, now that is smoothed out, I'm actually gonna go back in and add, there's a wand, which that's how I apply it, but you can take a brush, I don't think I ever did this, and just apply it that way. But I apply it with my wand because you have 60 to 90 seconds to apply it. And a little bit goes a long ways. I like seriously need to clean my brushes and I have been throwing away brushes because they are just not working for me anymore and so I got some new brushes I showed you in my Christmas haul that I did last week. I know I'm a little bit behind but that's okay. I think I'm gonna, I don't know, like, I just love this color. So, once that is setting up, I'm going to go in and I'm going to use Mulberry as my blush. This is a Shadow Sense, and I wish I had a different brush but I don't want to open the ones that I have because I want to do a video on it so I was actually going to do a brighter color so I'm just going to apply this is called ballet slipper I don't think I'm going to use more because I want it to stand out. And yes, I am not applying it to the apples of my cheeks. I'm applying it up higher. Um, and we also do have blush. It's called Blushens. I have used it. It is amazing. So I'm just going to go in with my contour brush from Silicone Cash from, I got it at Target. I am obsessed with this brush. So I kind of go backwards and up front so that it like gives me a lift. And this shadow sense is long lasting so it's going to last me all day long. Do the same thing, go up and then kind of down. See how it gives me more of a like lift? I don't know. I'm going to do a video on it. Um, I might do a different color. So, now, I don't know, I'm taking a long time on this because stands, stands on pearl, stone shimmer again, and I'm just going to go in with that same brush. This time I'm not waiting because I'm gonna get this done for you guys. So I'm just doing eyeshadow part for you guys because I do not have time to do my lips and I kind of want to do a video on that. So now that I have that one, I am going to go back in with that same stone shimmer and I'm going to do the outer corner of my eye and that's probably way too much. But we will see. 
because usually you just want to use a dot on the outer corner. Sometimes I go in and I just go to town. So I'm taking a more flatter brush. This is a Real Techniques concealer brush. I've had it for a long time, probably when I first started doing makeup. Okay, so I'm just doing one color here. So I'm just going on the eye, this part. See how I'm adding more and it's getting darker? Um, here's a smaller brush. This is the Sukoni Kesh small uh, eyeshadow brush. So I'm just taking that and just going downwards, like I'm making a downwards motion. And then I'm gonna take it up just like that, okay? So now I'm going to use um, Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. So I'm going to, I wish I had a more fluffier brush to do it with. Hmm. What about this brush? Yeah, this would work good. So I'm going to take that Sandstone Pearl right here and add it towards the outer corner of my eye. A little bit goes a long ways. Okay. Then I'm going to wait like a few seconds and um, go in with a more flatter brush and put it in with the shimmers. You want to wait a little bit to go in so they don't do some something funky and like you want to pat them in so I waited a little bit, so this is kind of a sheer purple look. So now that that is padded in, um, sorry, my camera, I don't know if you guys can see it, but my camera is doing something a little bit weird, so it's off, but I don't know why. So now, I'm going to go in with my um, black eyeliner pencil. I had my purple one. I think I am going to, oh, here it is. So I'm just going to use, I have um, the black make sense uh, eyeliner and this stuff is amazing we have black we have black brown we have purple and we have gold and the newest one is rose gold and you can purchase that with the same link by clicking on my link so I'm just doing the bottom here right here yes I did add a lot of eyeliner, but. And once this is dry to the touch, it is waterproof and it's smudge proof. So, and then I'm just gonna tight line my upper eye here. This stuff. This eyeliner is the best eyeliner I have ever used. And I've used multiple eyeliners that were drugstore bought. So, this is game changer. So, 
Now I'm going to, before I put my mascara and my lash primer on, I should probably do that so that this lash primer that I'm putting on is a game changer. All part of eyes. And if you're looking for something to grow your lashes, this stuff is amazing. The mascara and the lash primer. So, I'm gonna put it right here. So now I'm going to put the shadow scents called Amethyst on the lower lash line here. This is a really pretty purple. You could actually uh, put it I used to use it all the time. You could um, use it as an eyeliner too. Oh, I'm irritating my eyes. Okay, now I'm going to use, see how it's like a bluish purple? You're probably thinking, that looks really weird. But it isn't. So now I'm going to take this Lash Scent Mascara in the shade Black. This is volume and it is waterproof. Now you can do up to three layers of mascara. Oh, I got too much lash primer. So, now, I love this makeup, like, I totally love it. Whew. Now, with mascara, I've seen people, and this will be in my mascara video, pump it. Like, I'll show you an open. Okay. So, they take it and they pump it like this. Don't do that. That actually causes bacteria. And it's really bad. You actually want to swirl it like that. Okay, I'm just going to do two layers of it because these are real eyelashes. I don't, um, uh, I don't use it. So, I got to hurry. So, the last thing is I'm going to use snow on the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take a brush. You can use your finger or a brush and just go like that. And then I don't know. I'm going to take that amethyst and I'm going to put it right. Okay. And I should have done it before the mascara, but you get the gist of it. So, I'm going to finish up here and come back with the end result for you guys. Okay, so I'm back with the final look, and this is how it turned out. Very simple, very pretty. I always say that, but off camera, I did add in amethyst and to tell you 
you want to put it on your lower lash line and smudge it out first before you put the mascara on. I don't know why I didn't do that. I just did it differently, but that's what I would normally do. And I paired it with pastel pink lip scents. I'm pretty sure it is sold out on online. You can't get it online anymore because I looked it up and it was $10 when they had their like end of the year sale but I haven't worn it in a long time and I thought it would look really really well with this look so um I will put everything down in the description uh, box that I used and if you need any help or you have questions about the eyeshadow or the makeup or anything don't hesitate to ask that is what I'm here for um, please give this video a like or a thumbs up yeah thumbs up like this video I don't know I used to say thumbs up and like so Please like this video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so that you will be notified when I post a new video. First come, first serve. Thanks for watching.